Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Scorpio, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And uh, Scorpio, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies etc. If this is your reading Scorpio, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, page of wands in reverse. Are you guys not talking to each other even now? Or really not about the things that matter? Um, somebody is, maybe this was a third party situation, I don't know. Somebody is kind of turning their back or waiting for something or someone, I don't know. But they have a decision to make. This person has a decision to make which they are, I don't know. This person is in waiting mode, not really doing anything from what I can feel. Now, the other person is also in hermit mode, waiting for this news, waiting for some truth to be revealed, um, feeling maybe their person is keeping secrets and waiting for them to make a choice. Me could be spying on person A, I don't know. So let's see, I'm going to clarify these cards for you. Let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be and then we'll clarify these. Scorpio and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Scorpio and their person. Scorpio and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Scorpio and their person. One more. Thank you. Let's take a few more Scorpio from another deck. Scorpio and their person. Scorpio and their person spirit. Scorpio and that person. Alright, and just a few more Scorpio from a third deck as well and then we'll start the reading. Scorpio and that person. Good to go Scorpio, let's start the reading now and if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. The first card here says, there's no one in the world as amazing as you. I see my future with you. I'll always remember you. You are unforgettable. I want to take a trip with you. Let's get away together and disconnect from the world. You're all I desire. I honestly don't think anyone will love you more than I do. Just saying. I'm considering moving on with a soulmate, but I really don't want to have to. I'm having a hard time believing that you really love me. Soon I plan on returning, hoping it can work this time. I get defensive when I feel you're getting too close for comfort. I could never forget about you. I need security. I need your time and commitment. I know that you're the one for me. I want to hold you. Alright, so Scorpio, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Scorpio. Optimism. Stay optimistic. 
that's all I can say. That's what my angels are saying. Uh, stay optimistic about the situation. Uh, I don't know why, what's happening. I do sense somebody is taking their time in making a decision and the other one wants the decision to be made. So let's see what's what's what decision is that so spirit let's start the reading and newcomers these are just two soul energies for me all right i don't know which side you're on this is not gender based i could also be picking up on the energies of the same sex couples right so if this is your reading you'll immediately pick up which side you're on so person a let's start with you three of pentacles in your feelings three of pentacles yeah they've taken some time out this person is not in no rush they 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 want to come out of some confusion or they want to be able to make the right choice for them something that works for them or maybe this is a choice between a third party situation i don't know uh, they're delaying it for some reason this person see, doesn't seem to be in a rush they're contemplating they're thinking they've taken some time out uh, three of wands three of wands three of wands yeah they're wishing hoping waiting planning for maybe some things to change or uh, what makes them happy what it's almost like they don't seem to be like kind of really actively moving here but there is something that they are wishing for something that makes them happy something that is you know they're wanting the wheel of fortune to change uh, Regarding what person? Eh? Tell me. Can you tell me? Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands? Either they're waiting for somebody to come towards them or they want to move towards somebody that they're very attracted to. Somebody they want to move towards, somebody who's, um, you know, they're very passionate about or uh, they want to commit to, but they know before that they have to make a choice. I mean, the choice keeps coming up time and time again. Uh, even though they are, I think, itching to move towards some kind of happiness and they're waiting for things to change. Uh, but for that, they know they have to make this choice. Uh, what's the four of wands, spirit? What's the four of wands? Maybe this person, maybe if this is a third party situation, they're already in a commitment. This person could already be in a commitment or a long term marriage, which they have to kind of put down and that's the choice they have to make and that this person is uh, not feeling maybe they are ashamed they're embarrassed um, they I don't see them feeling very happy even though they're trying to do the right thing uh, for a once one more yeah this they, maybe they want they have to drop something which no longer serves them Maybe, maybe they feel they have difficulty in believing there's any more love left in one situation but um, They haven't made a choice. I don't think so. It's almost like they're stuck between two options. One which they have to give up on, which they feel the love is lost, which could already be a committed partnership. And one is looking into the horizon, waiting for things to change. So maybe dreaming of uh, something, someone who makes them happy. So how do you see the connection now, person A? How do you see the connection with person B? Forget about the third person. Uh, two of Swords. What's the Two of Swords? Two of Swords. I think person A is kind of avoiding, avoiding uh, making any one decision or from moving towards their passions is because they are stopping themselves. It is almost like either they are trying to avoid an argument or a fight which can lead to some broken hearts maybe their kids involved i don't know page of pentacles page of pentacles yeah page of cups page of pentacles and the five of swords this person is holding back from telling person b it's like i don't want to tell them that because either they feel that they will be on the losing end or they lose something so they want to do it as gently as possible i do feel they want to move towards something new i do sense i think person a does want to move towards something new but uh, they are trying to be a little 
sneaky about it. It's like, I don't want to create a fight. I don't want to hurt anyone. Let's see what action they'll take. I'm going to open this card later. Let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B, tell me, why are you in the hermit? Why are you, why are you, what are you thinking? Oh, person B is uh, in their hermit mode, wanting, uh, praying, wishing, hoping that uh, everything is safe and secure. Am I right, person B? Yeah, they see person A as the, their person, the person who is meant to take care of them, to be doing the right thing by them. Uh, they are in their hermit mode because they are wishing for this uh, ten of cups to stay stagnant. This person could be connecting with their spirit guides, wishing, hoping, praying, uh, maybe feeling very, very down and out right now because of some truth which has been revealed. What is the high priestess in reverse? What's the high priestess in reverse? I think person B is waiting for the news, waiting for person A to reveal what is in their heart and what they are wishing and praying and hoping for is that person A takes action towards them. Because I mean look at the amount of uh, wishing going on. Uh, I want the four of wands, I want the four of pentacles, I want the four of cups and I want it with my person. I am here manifesting it, I am alone, I am praying, I am wishing, hoping that they will come to me with the truth. I want them to take action and tell me that uh, everything is good. Yeah, person B is a bit stressed out, they are wishing, praying, thinking, stressed out, overthinking because they are hoping this connection has not come to an end. They don't want this to end. They want in fact another go around or this cycle to, you know, keep moving the way it was or even better. Okay, so person B, why do you feel this way? Tell me. Two of pentacles in reverse. What's the two of pentacles in reverse? I think person B definitely doesn't want person A to have any options. They want to drop one, they want them to drop one option so they can retain their place as the empress to the emperor. It's like, yeah, we are meant to be together. I hope you don't, you know, second get, guess this connection. I hope you're not confused. I hope that you come back. And uh, because they don't know what person A is going to decide, they are overthinking or stressed out or, um, you know, kind of maybe spying on person A right now, maybe going through their phone, going through, you know, just kind of keeping a check on person A as to where they are, what they are doing, why aren't they, you know, telling them what's on their mind. Person B could be right now sp spying on person A to see what they've decided because they're really hoping that um, uh, things can start again and uh, they can have a stable brand new beginning with person A again and if you guys have had any fight or any rift then things can be resolved so that peace and happiness can be you know brought back into this connection right person b yeah they're having sleepless nights person b is very very stressed out because they don't know they don't know whether person a is going to stop things with them and move away from them into you know happy times for themselves and maybe somebody else or will they start from scratch with them so that this connection can be healed. There is a lot of unknowing, uh, unknowingness on person B's part and that is why I think they are in hermit mode, very stressed out, sleepless nights, nightmares, keeping a watch on person A all the time, wondering when you know the truth will be revealed as to what person A is finally going to choose. Yeah, they are scared, person, uh, spirit says person B is a bit afraid that uh, Person A is going to leave them and walk away from this connection and that's going to put them into poverty and you know lack and feeling left out in the cold and left behind. I think person B desperately wants person A to return back to them. Okay, so tell me uh, person B, how do you see person A now? How do you feel about the connection currently? The moon, person B says I don't know, I don't know things are just not working out. I don't want them in a third party situation but they are just not talking to me, they are not being honest about uh, 
anybody else to me they are being cold they are being distant they are not uh, opening up their emotions to me and whenever i do try and pry they give me very little uh, i feel they are uh, emotionally very closed off from me uh, or just emotionally manipulating me now uh, i feel i'm worried that they don't love me anymore and they are out having a good time somewhere else being a player uh king of cups in reverse why do you see them as the king of cups in reverse king of cups in reverse Uh, they see them as a king of cups in reverse because I think in this isolation, uh, person B is really going through it at the moment. They are dreading that this connect connection is coming to an ending and a total close and um, that person who is not giving them love is probably taken a leap, leap, of, leap of faith in a new direction and is going to go off and offer it elsewhere. Right. So let's see what actions you guys will take then. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Scorpio. And while I shuffle these cards, may I please request you if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate. Makes me pe feel good to know how many of you I connect with. And uh, newcomers, repeating viewers, the ones who haven't subscribed already. Uh, to join the Omkara family, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. All right. So, person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, either person A is a bit afraid or person B is upset and anger. Let's see. Why the Queen of Swords in reverse? Justice. Queen of Swords again. Hanged men. Four of Cups, Star, Death and Rebirth, and the Queen of Cups. Uh, I'm sorry, my, let me just switch my phone off. I am sorry, I'll just put the ringer off. Okay, I think person A, the lights went out as well. My God, this, this connection seems to be in a bit of trouble. Uh, I think they, they do... They are a bit afraid of person B, who they know will, I don't know, they want to do right by person B. I don't think they want to do anything wrong, but they do want to get unstuck. Right now, this person is sitting in a lot of discontent, sadness, sorrow, uh, maybe wishing for something to end so that something new can begin. I don't think they've made a move because they just keep wishing and praying for some something or somebody that they have a lot of love for. I mean, I do see two queens here and a lot of discontent in the middle. But this person is praying for a solution which is fair and just, which can get them unstuck from a situation which they find themselves in. So I feel that they just don't want to create unrest or I think they fear person B's reaction so they're just taking their time. I don't see them moving as such. So person B, tell me, what about you? Action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Action from your end. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Person B says, I don't want to have a missed opportunity. I put in so much of my time, so much of my effort, and uh, I don't want to be disappointed. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles. This person is holding on very, very dearly to the hope that there's some positive communication. Uh, right now, they may be feeling stagnant, but this is what they are holding on to, that their person uh, will come towards them, do right by them, keep them financially secure, have a happily ever after with them. This is their wish. Person B is desperately holding on to that wish that this this will happen, that they will be chosen. Where person A is concerned, I do feel they want to do the right thing. They could be a little afraid of saying anything to person B right now. So they're just wishing and praying and hoping that with time maybe things can change or some transformation can happen. So Spirit, why is the page of uh, wands in reverse then as the overall energy? Page of wands in reverse. 
why is the page of wands in reverse as the overall energy for this reading the empress it's nine of swords ace of swords and the three of pentacles yeah i think um whoever person b is is very stressed out because uh they like they, they like where they are this person likes where they are then they're very stressed out uh whether this is going to work out or not they do want things to work out they do want things to work out and uh, they're waiting for that communication which hasn't come i don't think yet they yet have received that message from person a telling them this way or that way and uh, person b definitely wants to hold on and they're stressed out because they're wondering out of the third party situation if there is whether they'll be chosen or they're just wanting things to work out so that you know this connection can have a long term potential once again that's what i have for you so they're being very optimistic so that's what i have to you have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste scorpio